So, not your best practice. Can we agree on that? It seemed like you wanted to hang out with your friends more than practice. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. You know, just tell me. Because you can do that anytime. So here's a question for you. What is too tough on your kids? Is there such a thing or is it just good coaching? A video released by Canadian government sponsored True Sport aimed at keeping children involved in sports is going viral on social media. It's getting some backlash because of its message. True Sport says that 70% of kids quit sports before high school. Video urges parents to watch how they talk to their kids. You don't care about other people. You don't care about hard work. You don't care about teamwork. That's why you're always on the bench, every time it matters. One college football coach agreed with True Sports' message, saying in part, quote, youth sports is for socializing and having fun. The priority isn't winning and losing. On the other hand, a current college football player said the only reason he's playing is because his dad did talk to him like the father did in the video. All right, let's bring in somewhat of an expert on this. Guy who played college football, now coaches high school, and he happens to be a brand new dad. Please welcome Coach Paul Carazzola. Coach, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Hi. Hi, good. How are you? Thanks for having me. So you saw the video. My first take on it is that was a pretty measured conversation. I'm not sure they got across the point they wanted to get across. What was your take? I, I watched the video a couple of times. Um, I thought the, the way that the father handled the conversation and how he spoke his language was good he um he was talking about important things he wasn't talking about skills he wasn't talking about missed shots it was more about uh how the child can be coached how um they relate with their teammates uh teamwork was mentioned in the video and those are all important things in life what are the the discussion uh, that some have said they they you know that youth sports should be about socializing not winning and losing do you agree with that sentiment? Um, I think it's to a degree. I think that's part of a parent's job too. And get a feel of where your kid falls on that range, whether they want to be there for their friends or whether they want to be competitive. Now you're a new dad. Congratulations. Your son's two weeks old. When do you put a football in his hand? <laughs> uh, he's already had a football in his hand. Uh, <laughs> just a smaller, go. smaller version. <laughs> Outstanding. All right, coach. Thanks for the time tonight. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you for having me. I you appreciate bet. it. All right, let's talk about this and get the A-plus panel's opinion. Joining our A-plus panel of Allison and Garland is our sports reporter, George Falkowski. How you doing, George? All right, Bill. You saw the video? Yes, sir. You heard the coach. Yes, Your take? Sir. Well, I've got two kids, a daughter and a son who play hockey. My son's 14. He's going to a very competitive program this year, and we have uh, had the conversation that you got to decide sort of this year if you're going to be a hockey player or you're going to play hockey. And I know that may sound a little rough, but it's a very regimented sport, takes a lot of work, a lot of off-ice training. And I think part of this mix as well is the fact that parents pay a lot of money for travel sports. And if you're going to invest the money, you would like at least to see your son or daughter try hard, put in the effort. Have and, you talked to your kids in the manner that this father did on the video? My, my wife has had that discussion after a lazy <laughs> practice once or twice and threatened yeah. to take video games away when he was younger. Um, I think the father in the video was a little too much of a caricature at the end where he became the bully. And of course, we've all seen that at youth sports if we've done that with our kids. So I think that was a little over the top. Allison, my take was the dad wasn't a bully at all. I think the Canadians totally missed on this. And there was no context put to this. I don't know what the kid got in trouble for and why he wasn't playing earlier. I don't think it matters. I, as the mom in the room here, guys, I just disagree with all of you on oh. this. And here's why. You're looking at it from the perspective of, did the, was the father right or wrong? And people are attacking the father. All I saw in that video was the kid. You can see the actor is beat up, is discouraged. How is that a positive uh, environment for him? No wonder he doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. Garland, isn't this part of the problem that we baby these kids, we feel sorry for them, we make the kid the victim instead of toughening them up? I mean, we hear this all the time, that kids don't have coping skills. Well, yeah, but the problem I think here is, what's the dad trying to accomplish? If he wants to be effective, he wants the kid to listen to him. This kid had checked out on the father. Eh, nothing wrong with a little tough love. All right, we got to leave it there. George, we're going to check in a little bit with you on sports.